If you're using routing in ERS, an area of importance are the default routing settings. At admin, general config, routing settings, you'd want to go through each of these settings to make sure that they're populated to the way that you would prefer to use routing. So for example, some of them are very self-explanatory. Do you want routing to avoid the highways or tolls? You can set those. A route weaver time off, start time offset, this works in minutes. So if I were to change this to 15, that would simply mean that my routing schedule would be offset by 15 minutes, in essence forcing the schedule to always run 15 minutes early. Giving the travel fees to the drivers. This is by default set to false, so we do not apply the travel fee to the driver by keeping this at false, but if you did want to turn this to true, then you'd set the travel fee percentage that you want to give to the driver. Would you want to give them 100%? of that travel fee, or would you want, you want to give a smaller percentage? Auto sending the route to the driver. If this is populated with yes, every time you click that you have optimized a load sheet in routing, it would automatically text the driver if the user settings were set up to text. Unifying departure times, park delivery window, route weaver enable pickup, so on and so forth. Some of these, again, are just very self-explanatory. And it's just setting the default in routing. So, for example, if you told the system to default to a park delivery window stating one hour that you are willing to be only up to as much as one hour early to a park, then by default, every time you're doing a schedule and the event is at a public park, it would automatically set to one hour window. But it doesn't change the fact that within routing, you can change that down or up in any direction you need to go down to 15 minutes or up to three hours if you so chose. This is just going to default to one set schedule so that you don't have to change it as often as if, if this happens to be the number that you would use the most. Same for the delivery window being a four hour window and the delivery setup time pre-populating at 30 minute setup time. Most of our bounce houses take only about 30 minutes for a team to set up. So we go with a default of 30 minutes, but it doesn't change that in routing. You can change that up or down on any scale to be less or more if it's a larger event or a much more complicated inventory item that needs set up. So setting up again your routing settings will help you that when you do use delivery routing, then some of these areas being preset under routing settings will help you to make that scheduling and that process easier for you.